What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. In this video, what we're gonna be going over are two different topics that I've been asked. I get asked this quite frequently, is one, are the mowers at Lowe's and Home Depot different from the mowers available at a dealership? And then also, should I buy only from a dealership or should I buy from a Lowe's or Home Depot or big box chain store? Some may call, refer to it as. We're going to dive deep into this and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's get started now. But before we get started, again, hit that subs subscribe button. All right. So it's kind of a no and yes answer. Uh, no, the, their models are pretty much the same thing. Uh, these companies are not, from the best of my knowledge, these companies are not making a lower quality uh, unit to sell only to Lowe's and Home Depot. The difference is the dealers normally don't carry the lower models. So it's like, for example, a John Deere riding mower, an S100, is going to be the same at a Lowe's and Home Depot versus if you were to buy an S100 from a dealership. The problem is a lot of dealerships don't even offer the S100. Um, that's, and I'm not saying this is for every case. This is just an example from what I've seen. The dealerships are not, they usually don't offer the very low end entry level models. They might have one or two occasionally, but usually they kind of carry in the higher grade models. The, obviously the next question is which one has the best price and that can vary. Uh, Lowe's will have you know maybe nationwide sales on certain things, work out a deal with the, uh, the supplier or whatever product and they might have the best price in town for months. The dealer isn't in it to give you the best price uh, necessarily but it's kind of up to them. A lot of the times these dealers are locally owned and so they can pretty much kind of fluctuate on what they are willing to make on a unit. So the next question is, is it okay to buy from a Lowe's or Home Depot? And the answer is yes. Just know you're not probably, you're not probably being offered the best tool for the best price. Then next up is, should I buy just only from a dealer? In my opinion, yes. If you have a dealer, that's relatively makes you know sense for you to travel the distance to go buy that from them. I know the Lowe's and Home Depots are oftentimes far more convenient as far as location, but a lot of times these dealers will give quite a few benefits over like what a Lowe's and Home Depot store will, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. But first, let's go over how these mowers are delivered, whether it be a dealer or a Lowe's and Home Depot. They're usually delivered the same. And again, I believe, I may be wrong, I believe all the mowers are made at the same place and just the models, you know, one store might get certain models like a Lowe's and Home Depot are getting the S100s and the dealer uh, close by might only, the lowest model might be an S220. So that, that's the difference. So no matter what brand, no matter what store to go into whether it be a Home Depot, Lowe's, or a dealership. They come in on crates like this and they're meant to be able to fold down and stack up and then the crate company or the owner of the crate can re retrieve them from the location at a later date but these are a bunch of them all stacked up nice and neat here. All right so you could see there that those are uh several different mowers. I showed you some residential mowers and some commercial mowers all on pretty similar crates. Now the first thing you know when we're comparing buying from a dealership versus a Lowe's or a Home Depot, um, you're going to make sure you're, the dealership's going to have it assembled correctly. Now some mowers don't really require a whole lot of assembly but uh, when the Home Depot and the Lowe's, they will receive those units just like um, just like a, uh, a dealership does, basically on the same crates. Now, in where I'm, where I'm here in Florida, the way it's done is a Lowe's or a Home Depot contacts a dealer 
and the dealer sends out a technician to do the PDI, the pre-delivery inspection. And basically what they do is a, it's usually a, to be honest, it's usually a very entry level service tech that goes out to the location and he might have five to 10 or whatever PDIs to do on certain mowers for whatever brand he's doing them for. And what he's supposed to do is remove the, the mower from the crate, take the crate away from it. He's supposed to crank it up. And since a lot of these stores don't want to have gasoline in the tank, uh, the technician will bring a little uh, jerry can with a fitting on it and he can unhook the hose from the fuel pump. And he's supposed to crank the motor, motor up here, engage the blades, just make sure it's operating, you know, He's not going to go cut grass with it. He's basically driving it long enough just to get it out of the crate, maybe drive about 10 feet, engage the blades, steer it and everything, confirm that it's put together properly. And he's supposed to also check the air pressure and level the deck. Now, two common things that we see, the number one thing he's supposed to do is hook up the battery because it doesn't come to, that's, he's got to do that first thing as soon as he gets the crate off and the plastic off. He's supposed to hook up the battery and then he does all his inspection, levels the deck and whatever. So then when the store goes to put that unit on the showroom, they want the battery disconnected and they don't want any fuel in tank. That's why the driver or the mechanic had to bring a little jerry can because they don't want any fuel in the tank and they don't want the batteries hooked up. So what will happen is if you buy it from a Lowe's and Home Depot, oftentimes the battery won't be hooked up properly or some things won't be assembled properly. So here are two mowers that were, this one was either from a Lowe's or a Home Depot. This one's for a Home Depot. We still end up getting them anytime they need some warranty work or repairs work. But speaking of loose terminals, pretty much every time you pop one of these, these are gonna be loose. I mean, cause the, kind of think about it, the employees, they're basically using screwdrivers or uh, butter knives for screwdrivers at that point. Uh, the Lowe's employees aren't going to have the training, the tools, the information, nothing like that compared to someone at a uh, dealership. And on the models such as these that don't have the wheels installed, you want to make sure that those lug nuts are installed tight. Otherwise this can happen. Uh, this unit came in, the lug nuts weren't tight enough from the factory, ruined the wheel, as you can see here. Also ruined the uh, studs, the lug nut studs, ruined the lug nuts themselves. So if your unit, this and this happened probably about six months after, it took about six months of abuse. And hopefully if you catch that, it'll be cover, uh, covered under warranty, but if not, you'd be on the hook for all these repairs. All right, guys, so there's more to it besides just making sure that that unit is properly assembled. You know, buying from a dealer, it's also going to get you a more, going to develop more of a beneficial relationship and with your dealer because, you know, they're going to give you more information, more attention, and more of their time. They're going to, you know, demo the equipment, make sure that you know how to operate it properly. You're not going to get that from a Lowe's or a Home Depot employee they're not going to know as much about it. They're not going to know as much about the warranty. They got other things. They're worried about Lowe's system and Lowe's items that they want to sell. Or the John Deere dealer, they're, they're more invested in making sure that you're satisfied with their equipment. So a lot of times that's going to make them offer you uh, better options. Okay. So they might not, they're going to listen to you, figure out what is, what equipment it best works for you. For example, here's the lowest grade model in a John Deere dealership was an S220. And then you can step on up to the more commercial grade units. And actually this dealership did have a used commercial grade unit at a steal of a deal for $5,000. You know, that's another thing you're gonna be able to get, you're gonna be able to see at a dealership some awesome deals on some used commercial mowers. A lot of times these commercial outfits, they will buy a machine 
And I mean, like that one I just showed had 400 hours in really good condition. That would be a steal of a deal and a much better unit than say versus some of the residential zero turns available, especially compared to a Lowe's and Home Depot models. Now, another thing the dealers are going to often do for you, they're going to deliver it to you for free and usually with some gas. And I've never heard of a dealer that doesn't give away, give the first oil change, oil change for free. And that's also going to be a good opportunity. Take your, get, take advantage of that free oil change. And that's going to give the technician a chance to inspect the unit under warranty. And if they find anything, they will perform that repair or service or whatever that needs to be done to correct that warranty issue. And just to, here's a little tip, war, dealerships love warranty work. It's no cost to you, but the, the manufacturer pays the dealership. So basically that's going to wrap this video up. Those are all those reasons I listed before and talked about. I don't see why you would choose uh, Lowe's or Home Depot other than just maybe you, you're going to know what you're, you're going to get a whatever product they're selling at a certain price. It may not be the best price. It might be the best price for a limited time, but you're just not being offered all your options. Okay. But this is why I believe you should buy from a dealer versus a Lowe's and Home Depot. I know those are convenient and you know, I do it all the time just out of convenience. It is what it is, but this is a major purchase. So you want to be comfortable and, and satisfied with that equipment for years to come, service-free, trouble-free. So you'll probably more likely find that overall experience by buying from a dealer. Anyway, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button. I hope this video helps you guys out and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.